morning. It's day 13 of my fasting. I started to include coconut water with a little bit of a squeezed lemon and I actually had my first poo in 13 days today. That was pretty incredible. Sorry to be so graphic. And I just wanted to show you that, you know, I've let all my food go to waste. I mean, not all of it because I've given some to Rob to, you know, make food when I was cooking for him. But I wanted to show you that, you know what, you can actually still, you know, use this and just put it in the freezer. So I thought I'd show you. Hold on one moment. I want to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wash them with love and no babies. And then you just start to chop around because you know what? This will be delicious in the smoothie if it's frozen. So whenever you see your food is about to go off and you just don't want to eat it that day, then just chop it up and freeze it. Like, look at this. I know. I know. But not all of it is bad. Or maybe all of it is. <laughs> okay, I spoke too soon. So yeah, I'm just chopping the parts that are a little bit decent because when they're in the smoothie, it will taste delicious that it's overripe. You won't, you won't know the difference that it's frozen. So a lot of the time we just think, oh, we gotta throw it out, it's no good anymore. But see, it can be salvaged with love. You just cut out the pieces that are a little bit too choppy. You know, with love, we can salvage ourselves. So we're not gonna throw ourselves away just because we're not perfect. So I think that's the thing, you know, we look at food, we're like, oh, it's not perfect, throwing it out. But see, you can salvage it. Look how much you can salvage. I just wanted to show you that. Because so many people are going hungry, besides me, who's deliberately, you know, on fast. It's a difference. Starvation is when you have no choice. Fasting is you're making a deliberate attempt to do a detox and praying for God and just to see how far you can push yourself to transformation. And I can say after 13 days, my energy has been changing and I become very aware of myself when I'm thinking negative thoughts or selfish thoughts and I'm also feeling much more connected to to the source and I feel even happier than normal. See, like that one, I don't think we can do anything about and all these guys over. I feel much more connected to nature. I feel like I'm getting downloads of, you know, just spiritual talk sometimes. But at the same time, I'm also witnessing See, like that I'm going to salvage. I'm witnessing my shadow side. I'm witnessing I'm, I'm not good. And you know, sometimes you, you feel ashamed of them. Yeah, because that's part of me. And, you're, and the only difference now is that I look at it and I think, okay, why is that coming to me? Why, why am I having those thoughts? You know, why am I having thoughts that are not pure that are not wishing the best for everyone, or, you know, along that kind of vibration. And I feel I'm becoming a kinder person because I'm slowing down. I think when you're always rushing, you don't have time to think of anything else but yourself. But when you're fasting, you're forced to slow down. And in slowing down, you get to really be present. So that's what I found for myself. I feel like I'm, I'm much more present than I have been. See, like, I'm still gonna salvage stuff. I know some of you are like, I'm not gonna salvage that. I don't think this one is salvageable. But see, we still got a lot. This is our rubbish. It's amazing. I, I don't feel tempted by the food anymore because I realized when you eat, it's a wonderful feeling. That's true. But the feeling I have now of serenity and feeling closer to God and just feeling tapped in. Okay. 
just want to show you what I do is instead of throwing out the bags, I keep the bags and then I put the food in them to go right into the freezer. So I'll show you. So this is a good way if you don't want to have to buy little Ziploc bags. Just reuse your bags. And so this is very good for the environment, for the planet, for the animals, because the more rubbish we're throwing out, it means that you know eventually this is coming onto the land and interfering with animals. So as you can see, I've just put I'm putting that on here. And this will make a very nice freezer bag. This will taste so good in the smoothie then, so I'll show you. Thank you. perfect or as fresh as when you first bought it so remember what you're throwing out somebody right around the corner maybe might be dying to have so to to bring that awareness that we are so blessed to have a roof over our head to have food in our cupboard and i'm putting it right into our blender and peaches and plums are so good for you they have plenty of antioxidants which are very good to fight off diseases and to you know fight off a little bit of aging faster than we have to they have vitamin a vitamin c vitamin k they also are very good to help prevent cancer because they have antioxidants carotenoids and caffeic acid are the two antioxidants that are in peaches that basically have the anti-cancer properties so imagine you're helping your system out you know to boost your immunity whenever you're adding peaches and plums and they have a lot they're very good for fiber so basically you are not going to get constipated because you're going to be, be flushing out your system so anybody suffering from inflammation like ibs you know having peaches and plums in your diet will really help you so see i've added a lot of them today because that's about five or six because i just didn't want to put them in the freezer but you don't have to you can actually use less than that so they're very good for heart health as well i'm adding a frozen banana so you see that i freeze i peel them and then i freeze them and today the kale i did the same thing so i have the kale in the freezer i chop it and then i freeze it so here's the kale and it's the same thing that sometimes if i leave food out it goes off and so what i do is i just chop it up and i put it right in the freezer so of course the best thing is to forget or sometimes you buy too much and and so this is just an, another way to actually freeze your food put it in the freezer so so far i've added mainly all the peaches so imagine the peaches and the plums it's so good for their digestion so cleaning out the system has a lot of antioxidants it's also very good for heart health it's lowering blood pressure and it reduces inflammation and it keeps the skin healthy because it, it attracts moisture so you can't go wrong with adding peaches and plums now i'm adding the three dates which are the natural sweetener that it's again a lot of bulk in dates so you can see i have a whole carafe or blender full whatever you want to call it and this will be about two or three servings so i'll put this in glass bottles and this will last me the whole day so if you're on the go if you want to if you have to go to work in the morning you can make this in the morning take it with you to go or you know if you want to go for your exercise take it with you to go like a little power pack so you can see i have my cutting board I have the towel underneath the cutting board to prevent the slipping. I have a big knife and then I have 
as close as I can get to it. What I do is I basically cut around the edges. So I'll show you, I'm cutting the edges. You call this sledgehammer. I'm gonna just read, look at, a, feel a point where it's a little bit soft and I'm gonna tap into that. See, we hit gold. Taking the other knife, making a piece right there, and voila, we have coconut water. I love coconut water straight from the coconut because there you have all the electrolytes you need. So a lot of people suffer from dehydration. You know, we don't drink as much water as we should, me included. So this is like that way to ensure that you're getting electrolytes, you're getting that energy. Coconuts grow high up in the sky, so they have all that sun energy. So really good for you. See, there's a lot in that little baby. Yeah, yeah. I love me some coconut. Yeah, opening the coconut, I didn't bother with the second one because I just figured you already saw me open one. You don't, even, you don't need to see me open a second one. So this is two coconuts. This is about five or six peaches and plums, some kale, one banana, one frozen banana. Remember the kale is frozen with the three. I'm going to add some hemp seeds, which are very good for the omega-3, omega-6. And you know, you can stop right here. You don't need to add so many ingredients, but I figure this is like a meal for me. I'm not, I eat about one meal a day, one cooked meal a day. I'm mainly having a juice, my smoothie and that one cooked meal a day. That's about it. So I figure I make my smoothies into like power packs. You know, they're nourishing me for you know, like the whole day pretty much. This is cinnamon. So I don't have coffee in the morning. I don't have something solid. I just have a juice. I made today celery and apple juice, cold press, and now I'm making my smoothie. So I've added hemp seeds. I've added cinnamon. Now I'm gonna add flax seeds. I like to add pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are full of iron so very good for you know vegetarians and vegans that that might struggle with anemia so there's always another way gonna add my spirulina you know and i know a lot of people say well it's pretty expensive but you know what you gotta come to a point in your life where you say you're worth it you know you're the one who decides your value in life. So you've got to decide, are you worth to have good food? Are you worth to take care of and give yourself the best that you can afford? So if you're in survival mode, it's one thing, but if, if you're not in survival mode, then just you look at your cupboard and you can realize a lot of the time we buy food and if you're buying food you can realize food is nourishing your brain. It's nourishing your body. Your food affects how you feel about yourself. So if you put junk food in your body, most of the times you're not feeling that great because, well, there's no nutrition in junk food. You just have to look at the ingredients on the back and see, well, what's actually really healthy in this. So my smoothies, they might seem excessive to some people, but I call this just straight energy, straight power into my body. This is full of fiber, minerals, vitamins, antioxidants, everything you need. So you just have to make a choice. Everybody makes a choice in their life of what's important to them. So you just make the choice for yourself, what's important for you, and you go in that direction. Okay, so I'm just adding a slice of lemon with the rind and a piece of ginger. So this is gonna add to the detox and the purifying of the body. And again, that whole aspect of cleaning out the stools, cleaning out the colon, because you know, if you're constipated, excuse my language, a lot of time you're full of shit. So if you're going to the toilet regularly, you feel lighter, you feel cleaner because you don't, your body's not storing junk and toxins. So smoothies like this are full of fiber. They're full of goodness to, you know, make you go to the toilet, make you have energy. And once you drink this, then you go out, you do your walk or whatever you do to move your body. So 
I'm adding a scoop of vegan protein. You don't have to. This is what I like to do because I feel I'm worth it. And so this is all part of the routine and ritual of self-love. You have the right to love yourself. You have the right to take care of yourself and to treat yourself every day. So the food in your body, your food in your body is nourishing yourself. It's nourishing your soul and that you can control. You are in control of what you are putting in your body. So you're in control of what food you're putting in your body. You're in control of what drinks you're putting in your body, you know, and everything has an effect. So if you smoke or you drink alcohol or you do drugs, you have to accept there are consequences to that. And I'm not here to, to judge you for that because it's not my interest to do that. You know, I've been there, done that, but I am here to promote health because I want you to feel great, just like I do feel good. I want you to, f to feel good. And you know what? When you look good and you feel good, you have a different energy about you and you stop worrying if the whole world doesn't understand you. So when I first came on to this whole journey of embracing health, which was a long time ago, you know, a lot of people didn't understand. But then throughout the years, I saw... Well, they're the ones who are unhealthy. So they didn't understand me, but they weren't happy. And they weren't full of energy like I am. So that's what I'm giving to you, that you take care of your body. You make your daily smoothie, make your juice, go for your walk. Take care of yourself. This is part of the self-love routine. Loving yourself, taking care of your body, which is your temple. Taking care of your mind. Ready to go. So this I'm going to put into the glass bottles. I prefer glass over plastic, but you do what you want to do. And I just want to inspire you to take care of yourself because remember, you are responsible for your body, for your mind, your thoughts, and you're responsible for your environment. So, you know, when we're children, we're being told by our parents what to do. And then when you grow up and you move away from your parents, then you have that choice to create your own environment. You have the choice to create what thoughts you let inside your head. You have the choice to create the environment of what friends you allow in your life. You know, and everything is about what you believe you deserve, what self-talk you have, what you believe about yourself. So, you know, a lot of us, we come from families or from environments where people are putting us down or screaming at us, screaming at us or telling us we're an idiot or something like this. And so I'm just here to tell you, you're a beautiful person. You have the right to happiness. You have the right to goodness. And you know what? Nobody is perfect, but nobody has the right to put you down. So you've got to begin at one point in your life to love yourself, to accept yourself as you are. And to see that you're good enough as you are and that if people start to put you down you gotta take a look at them and realize you must not be feeling so good about yourself that you're spending all that time making me feel bad so remember it's a cycle hurt people hurt other people unless they realize that you know there's there are effects to to emotional violence to verbal violence, to putting people down, or being the victim of being put down. So this is the way. These, it's a step in the direction of loving yourself and realizing that we all have the right to be loved, to be understood, to feel safe, to love ourselves. But we first got to take care of ourselves like a seed. We have to take care of our precious heart of our precious mind and our precious soul because the environment affects us in many ways and if we don't start to protect our energy against negative influences against toxic influences then a lot of the time we start to feel hurt or vulnerable or abused or neglected or abandoned getting into the healthy wavelength of life you start to become aware it's not just the food we're looking at it's also every aspect of our life 
is our life healthy? We start to look at it that way and we start to look at the people in our life healthy or are they toxic? Do they want the best for us? Are they taking care of themselves? So we want to create a world where we start to take care of ourselves. And when we start to take care of ourselves, we start to own our own shit and we don't put people down. We don't put people down because nobody deserves that. What everybody deserves is goodness, positivity, upliftment, and most of all, compassion. We have to have compassion to other people to realize, you know, a lot of people are suffering and because they're suffering, that's why they might lash out at others. So for the victim or the perpetrator of any type of abuse, there comes a point, a, a realization moment where one of the parties has to realize enough is enough and I need to take care of myself. I need to protect myself. We don't deserve abuse. And so I'm just asking you to start taking care of yourself because more you, the more you take care of yourself, remember only you can save yourself. You know, nobody's responsible for saving you. You gotta save yourself. You gotta decide what what elements you want in life. And we've gotta look at our mind, how we're being talked to, how other people are talking to us, but also how we are talking to ourselves. And so the first step is really looking at that, observing, but also looking at the food we're putting in our body, because the food in, we put in our body is also affecting how we feel about ourselves. So it's not only the, it's the external affecting the internal. And so with that, I hope we can have more compassion and love for ourselves to go through that dark night of the soul, but also come out the other side where we realize we want a better life and a better life starts in here, in our heart, believing we have the right to a better life, becoming aware of what we're doing and taking care of your health. And health is, comes, it's a huge umbrella, but there's mental health, there's physical health, there's spiritual health, there's emotional health. So we gotta take those all into account. I hope you have a beautiful day. I love my smoothie. And that's it. Take care of yourself. Make sure you're in a supportive environment with people who are fostering your creativity, your emotional upbringing. Make sure you're not in a toxic environment where people are screaming at you all the time or putting you down or belittling you because that has an effect on the psyche. And we're all about self-love and self-love needs compassion compassion for the person who's on the receiving end.